my camera is connected to my computer so that I can download the images from the flashcard using uh, uh, via my USB port. I'm going to use Adobe Bridge to do this. So I'm going to go to the File menu and choose Get Photos from Camera. And it's going to bring up the Adobe Downloader dialog box. And normally, if you have not worked in this Adobe Downloader uh, dialog uh, often, you may see a standard dialog configuration that looks like this when you open it up. What I'm going to do is uh, use the advanced dialog because I always like to see the images that I'm downloading uh, first and select only the ones that I want to download because chances are you have images from different sessions on your compact flash card inside your um, cam camera, whatever type of card it is. So if you notice that there's a check box and all of these check boxes have a check mark in them. So down here I can choose uncheck all. So if I have hundreds of images on this card it will deselect all of them and I can just choose the ones that I want to bring in. So I'm going to click on this very first image and then just scroll down to see I have other images that I want that I have on the card I only br want to bring in the images of the roses so I am going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard and I'm going to click on this very last image in the lower right corner it's not the last but it's the last one that I want to select so once I click on them if you look closely you can see a blue outline around the images and it's not around any of the images that I did not click on. So once that's there, I'm going to then click on any checkbox and it will highlight the checkboxes of only the images that I'd selected. So these are the only the images that are going to be downloaded from the card. So I'm going to come over here to the right and choose where I want these images to be uploaded to. So let's choose and let's go to the pictures folder pictures and select the year and I'm going to click and create a new folder so the folder that I'm going to create is going to be labeled 021413 flowers and let's create and open so that is the destination that they're going to. The next option I have here is do I want to create subfolders? No, I do not. So make sure that that's set at none. You do have the option to create subfolders if you choose to do so. I am going to give them a custom name. And that name is going to be 021413 roses. And you can see down here it gives you an example of what the naming convention will look like. I'm going to take this off and just put one there. Uh, preserve con uh, current file name and metadata. I like to check that. And the other options, I'm going to open an Adobe Bridge window. I want that to open after this is process is complete. I do not want to convert to DNG. I do not want to delete the original files. Uh, at this time, I do not want to save copies to a different destination. So the other uh, metadata, name, and copyright information, I've input that. So let's choose the button, Get Media. And it's downloading 21 files. So what I'm going to do, or uploading 21 files, what I'm going to do is pause and come back when it's closer to the end. Okay, the upload is resuming, and what it, once it is complete, I will be presented with a bridge window showing me those files. And you can see that all of these files were renamed with the naming convention that I placed in and all of them have been brought up for me to view.